I know it's dangerous. But you're the only one who can unite the people. It's been 43 years since your father passed away. And everywhere I go, I see a poster. I see a t-shirt. I hear his music coming out of a radio or it's on in a restaurant. What's it like for you to still probably be surrounded by him after so long away? Yeah, well, he's never away from me because I'm a part of him, right? And he's a part of me. You know, we have that natural, you know, with DNA. Um, yeah, we don't really think about it too much. We don't think about it like that, you know. We just, this is how we've been living like this from, from we were born, around my father, music and everything. It's nothing new, it's nothing new, but we don't think about it too much, you know. Um, did working on this film and, and uh, being part of this make you think about your father in, in a different way? Did you learn anything? Was there something about it that what became clear for you? Yeah, I mean, the first point you make about thinking about him in a different way, I think that is the point for me. It wasn't about learning anything new, because we were the one who was teaching, mm -hmm. um, teaching people how, you know, Bob's personality, what happened. But what it did make me think of that I never really thought about before was what he went through emotionally during this time period. It was a very hard time for anybody to have these experiences that he was having, being shot, you know, having to leave his country, having doubts about why, why his own, like, why his friends, why his people try to hurt him, he's trying for the good, cancer diagnosis. I mean, it's a whole heap of, it's a whole heap of thing going on, so it made me wonder, wow, what my father was going through emotionally, you know, on the inside. It must, it's a, it's a, it, it, it must have taken a toll emotionally on him, you know, and mentally, psychologically, and it made me think about that, which I haven't thought about before. I love the sequence where they write the song Exodus, mm. because you can see it forming in his head as it's happening. It's an incredible thing. Tell me, and you got a big smile thinking about it. Do you remember him writing music in that way? Yeah, man, um, when my father write music, he's, it's not a professional thing. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a spontaneous thing. It's a vibe thing. And as kids, he would be playing his guitar, and he would say, "Come on, come sing," and we would sit around and try to you know sing what he's singing. But yeah, that's the way that's the way the real music is made. It's not a it's not a you know it's a it's a, it's a spiritual inspiration. This is my man. 